Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. This is a resin dragonfly I made. And on this one, I actually had some air bubble imperfections. You can see right here those little kind of craters on the perimeter of the piece. I'm going to show you how I thought of a way to fix these small little imperfections and turn it into a perfect, beautiful creation. So I'm going to be using this liquid fusion glue, a precision tip applicator bottle, glass SS20 size rhinestones. I like to use this brand. You can get it off Amazon. All this stuff you can get off Amazon. And you are going to need some filler rhinestones, which is this variety pack here. comes with different sizes. And this tray is optional. You don't need it, but it does help you pick up the rhinestones easier. A wax pen or pencil. And let's jump in and get started. So this liquid fusion glue does dry pretty quickly. You got about a 15 minutes working time with it, I would say. So work in small sections. We're going to start off on the head first. So I'm just going to go in at a thin layer of glue. You do not want the stones swimming in the glue. Just add a nice even thin layer and place your rhinestones down right on top of the glue. This is so easy to do, you guys. It's really a great way to fix up resin pieces that you're just not happy with. Um, I'm just kind of placing those SS20 stones right next to each other and you can see I have some spots where they're not fitting perfectly and that is where you're going to need some filler rhinestones to fill in the spots where your resin piece is showing um, so you're going to need smaller sizes. And I will link a website down below. Um, she sells rhinestones and she also sells a filler pack um, with different sizes. So she sells like the SS20 individual colors and then that same color variety pack of filler size stones. You could just get the smallest size, which is SS3, and that would be fine, I think. Or you could get a full set like this off of Amazon. I actually purchased this little set here to the right in the little container before I bought the SS20 size rhinestone. So I did have this um, previously. But if I was going to start out, I'd probably just get the SS20s and some SS3, the smallest size um, rhinestones. And you should be good to go with that. But you can see I added quite a few fillers on little head of the dragonfly here and now we're going to get cruising and go down the wing the wings were pretty easy to do the head was honestly the hardest because it did require a lot of filler stones but you could see like this straight away here i'm just going to go in on that wing and just place a whole row of ss20 rhinestones right there and i did not sand this at all because you know this is, I'm going to turn this into a sun catcher, so it's not something that's going to be handled all the time. But if you were making like a keychain or a rhinestone tumbler, you would want to give your substrate, whatever you're working on, a, a sand with either a sanding block or a piece of sandpaper. Um, clean it off, you know, with some 91% isopropyl alcohol and then add your glue and your rhinestones. But this piece... Is just for decoration so I did not go in and sand it um, just because I knew it wasn't going to be handled a whole lot and now I'm just gonna go in and add those along the wing and I was taking the other side of this wax pencil and pushing those rhinestones down into the glue you want to make sure you do that just to make sure they're really stuck on there and you can move them around if they're not lined up perfectly you can take the other side of your wax pen and move the stones around after I laid down a section of rhinestones I would go back and just push them down and make sure that they were really sticking to that glue um, you don't want to add too much glue. You don't want your rhinestones swimming in the glue um, because if glue gets on the surface of the rhinestone, it can dull the sparkle. And there are a few different types of rhinestones. There are resin rhinestones and glass rhinestones. 
For me, I prefer to use glass rhinestones because they are more sparkly. Um, they're made of glass, they are sparkly like a crystal. Resin rhinestones are more affordable. Um, not by much, just by like a few dollars. But if you're making a lot of projects, then if you're trying to, you know, cut cost, resin would be the way to go. Resin rhinestones are really pretty too. They just don't sparkle as much as glass rhinestones do. And you do need to let the glue cure for a week. So if you're making these to sell or making them, you know, as gifts, after you're done applying your glue and your rhinestones and the piece is completely finished, you need to let it cure for seven days um, before you send it out or gift it. And I don't want to bore you guys to death, so I am speeding this up to 16 times speed. Uh, real time, this took me about 50 minutes to do. Not too bad. As with anything, you know, the more you do it, the more experienced you get, the faster you will be. I really love this project because it's something that you can pick up and put down easily. Um, it's not like resin, you know, where you're limited to time where your resin is going to start setting up. You could do a little bit of this, stop, go do something else, and come back to it. Here's how it was looking. I was so excited because I just love how this turned out. We're just going to cruise right through the rest of these. Um, like I said, I did need some filler stones, so just take your time, place down your larger stones, and then you can go back and really look at the piece and see if you have any bare spots and go in with those smaller filler stones and just fill those in easily. It's almost like a puzzle, um, making the stones fit together, but it's really fun. I honestly love projects like this where it's like busy work and you feel so accomplished when you finish it. And the stones come in a lot of different colors. This one is AB. It's got a really pretty color shift to it, but they have like AB aquamarine, AB light purple, a bunch of different colors. And like I said, I got all this stuff off Amazon. I'll link everything I'm using down below in the description box. A lot of people thought that this was a silicone mold that I'm working on, but it's actually a resin piece that I had made and it had those air bubble imperfections that I wanted to fix or cover up. But here's how it turned out. So gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I'm really excited to do some more rhinestone projects, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Naptime Creations, so you don't miss those videos coming out in the future. But you can see it's totally covered. You cannot even see those little air bubble imperfections that I had on this piece. Absolutely transformed it. Um, typically pieces like that I would just either toss or sell them at a discounted price in my Etsy shop. And now I'm just going to take my little drill, drill two holes in the top. You could take a little sharpie and mark where you want to drill, but I do this a lot. So I just eyeball it. Just going to drill right through it. Attach my eye screws. I don't use a glue or resin or anything when I install these eye screws. These are not very heavy at all. And you can feel the screw tighten as you screw it into that little hole that you drilled. But you could go in with a little dab of E6000 glue if you wanted to or that liquid fusion. Add it to the post of the eye screw and then screw it in if you want, you know, extra peace of mind that it's really secure in there. But I've never had a problem. Um, you could use that E6000 there if you wanted. Now we're going to attach the glass crystal beads. And these are so easy to use, you guys. They come already pre-put together on, you know, the strand with the split rings and the glass crystal beads. So I literally just open up the split ring, put it on those eye screws on each side, take another split ring and this little hanger here and you'll be good to go. So here's the other split ring. I'm just attaching it to the two split rings on the strands of the glass crystal beads. And then I'm going to attach my little hanger right to that split ring. Super easy beautiful. It throws such a pretty color when the sunshine hits it and those glass crystal beads will give you some pretty rainbow patterns as well. Here's how it was looking. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you give this a try. It's a great way to transform your resin creations that you're just not happy with or if they had some imperfections. Let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments 
and I appreciate you guys so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Naptime Creations, and go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. Helps out my channel if you watch a few of my videos back to back, and let me know what color of rhinestones I should get next. Right now, I only have this AB color, so let me know down in the comments what color you would like to see because I'm really stuck on what color to get. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye, guys.